Hey, Kanye, how would you uh, describe your album? Man, I feel like it's a breath of fresh air. Man, Kanye. It's called Genius. It's part one of a three-part documentary about the rise of Kanye West in Chicago's rap scene. It hit Netflix yesterday, and I had the chance to talk with the filmmakers behind the documentary. With God's blessings, it shouldn't be no way for me to lose, really. Long before he was one of the most celebrated, best-selling, and controversial music artists of all time, Kanye West was a kid from Chicago. Remember dude used to just make beats for people? And his rise through the world of the Chicago rap scene to become the man, artist, and controversial figure he is today is the focus of the new three-part documentary trilogy entitled Genius. Hey yo, two words, shot town Southside Worldwide. I spoke with the two co-directors of the documentary, Cootie and Chike, who've been following Kanye since 1998 about just how much the city of Chicago shaped the man we know today. Even to make it out of Chicago, is, is, it takes a, a strong person, um, you know, because we have the weather, you know, we have segregation, uh, we have the gangs. We wanted to capture the essence of hip hop, you know, emerging in Chicago. And Kanye was the, was the perfect uh, tool to show that, uh, that, you, that you can make it. A few days ago, President Trump was bragging, saying, hey, you know what, at least Kanye likes me. If you had a message you could send back to President Trump, what would you say to him? I like him. You like him too? Yeah. All right, Kanye. Between controversy surrounding his relationship with former President Donald Trump and the very public feuds with his ex-wife Kim Kardashian, Kanye's work has always been in danger of being overshadowed by the TMZ headlines surrounding his personal life. Should we separate the work from, from the TMZ headlines or do the two have to be a package deal? I mean, I believe it's just, it's, it's just all in the journey. You know, Common's out there the same way and, and he's not so much in the tabloids. So it just depends. It's, it's a choice that you make and decide which way you want to go. Um, but, you know, for us in this doc, we could have we could have gone that direction and we could have made a doc that was about that side of, of, of Kanye, that side of the industry. But we saw what was unique and special about the journey that Cootie had and, and sort of the lens that uh, he's able to frame Kanye in. And we always say Cootie's lens represents this lens of empathy. He's able to sort of pierce through Kanye and, 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 and capture this vulnerability that exists there. And while director Cootie has had a long-standing friendship with Kanye for over 20 years, he says that when it comes to the final cut of this film, Kanye was not allowed to weigh in. Yeah, I also told him, I said, do you have to trust me? You know what I mean? You have to really trust me. And if you have any say on this movie, we lose authenticity because this is not about you. Then we got my man Kanye. I've got more sound that you didn't hear in that piece coming up in the next hour of Good Day Chicago. You're going to hear more from the directors on Chicago's influence on.